It's harvest time for Katie Elric. She has been farming in the Cowichan Valley for 20 years. Farming to me just makes sense, <laughs> but it's also so important to me because it provides healthy vegetables for the community, so I feel like we're doing something that's important for the community. The Elric Farm and Cafe depend on groundwater and uses every bit very carefully. With the drip tape, it is actually goes right onto the vegetables that need watering. In 2016, the province implemented the Water Sustainability Act. This well here. Since then, businesses have needed a license to use groundwater. We um, went through the application form. We filled it out. That was like in 2020. She says in July, provincial enforcement officers came to the farm and told them to stop using groundwater. And we were like, shocked. We really didn't know what to do at that point. The province had no trace of her initial application, so Elric applied again. They're so backed up in the um, processing groundwater license that it'd probably be two to four years. That's why I'm saying that this is a, a threat to food security in the Cowichan Valley. This hydrologist helps businesses apply for groundwater licenses. He says long wait times will cause more problems. Will they wait years until they hear back from the government? Or will they just simply say, forget it, I'm just going to not apply and hope they'll never find out? And so when your decisions are not timely, you could run the risk of driving people um, underground. But Wei says licenses are an important tool to regulate dwindling water. By introducing the act, we're slowly changing people's attitude to realize this water, whether it's water in a lake or a stream or underground, is a public resource. It's an underground resource that's essential for land-based businesses. But that resource is important for fish as well. And that's creating conflict in drought-stricken parts of the province. This is a really tough situation for a lot of businesses because they require the water, they depend on it, like we all do. And there's probably a lot of fear about what will happen if they, if they get licensed and, and the, the fear of being restricted further. But the fact is that we are, we are in very desperate times right now with unprecedented drought. We have fish being cooked in our creeks from being too hot. We have to manage this. He says the province should step up. We only have one water sustainability plan that's even close to being completed in BC, and we have watersheds across the province that need them. Come on, cows! Recently, Katie Elric was allowed to use the groundwater again while she waits to hear back. It still feels very stressful. The future of this invisible resource remains a debate as fish populations and farmers continue to face challenges. Look at how cute they are. Camille Vernet, CBC News, Duncan.